Good evening. Uh, today, um, it's been a week since I streamed because we actually, our internet died over the weekend and we had to wait for the technician to come out and fix it. So we've actually been offline for about half a week. So I'm back and I didn't really have time for a regular stream tonight. So I'm just going to do a little quick Morrowind flight simulator. Um, I'm using the setting that bypasses the character creation entirely and because the default character is ugly we're gonna go ahead and grab the silver armor so we can at least look good as we fly around um, and that's where we are um, we're just flying today the only people we're gonna talk to I think are the boat people who will take us to the um, <coughs> land mods I have out west and from there we'll uh, We'll just go in random directions, I guess. We may even get to see some of the Tamara built um, unfinished areas beyond the edge of the landscaping. That'll be fun. Let me go ahead and get the game open. The game is loading. <coughs> so the game is going to load. And it's going to drop us in the lighthouse, which is where our crate of utilities is. And actually, we're going to play Trippy for a little bit. There's a utility in the utility crate, which is useless. But I think we're going to go ahead and use it for just a few minutes just to be funny. First, let's find our stuff. And let's go get the armor. But first, let's do this. Let's play in wireframe mode for a few minutes. The game is practically unplayable in this state. We're just going to use this to go down and grab the armor. I just think it, it'll be fun to play like this for a little bit. Oh boy. That's the tricky thing about wireframe is you can't always see where you're going. Oh, I'm in the water. Well, we want to be the other side of town anyway. This better be important. All right. I need to be able to see where I'm going. Once once I have visual on the shrine, we'll go ahead and put that back up. There's the shrine. You can see right through it, can't you? That's kind of the point of wireframe. The winged twilights look even freakier than usual with the wireframe on. Okay. But they get in the way when they're not actually in use. Whew. 
swear I gotta loot the spoils. Well, that's nice. They had some nice loot, but this is what we're here for. Now, let's get dressed. So that's, oh, man, the guy's practically invisible with wireframe turned on. I'll show you a proper look at the armor. Well, we got our, we got our clothing, so let's go ahead and head for the silt strider. This reminds me of the old uh, flight simulator games from the 90s. They used to have this uh, kind of wireframe set up. Okay, so that's the bridge from the town. So we need to find the wireframe silt strider. The boat I need is an even heart. And since I can't find the silt strider in this mess, and I want to stay in this for a little bit while longer, we're going to head. We're, uh, there's even heart that way. And I can hear that I'm going through water. Let's keep swimming towards Evenheart. This is crazy. And that big globe thing, that big, that big, those big shapes in the background making a globe shape, that apparently is the sky dome which is where we'll be able to see sky detail if we weren't in wireframe. I didn't realize that it had its own wireframe. I thought that was just a separate plane behind the drawn land. It'll be so much easier to navigate once we're flying. But actually, I kind of want to stay. Ah. I think I want to stay in wireframe for a little bit longer if I can. Well, I'm at even heart. Yes. I just have to figure out how to navigate. There's the gate. If we can get ourselves on those steps somehow. Okay, I keep missing the steps. All right. There, I think. Yes. Okay. Even heart looks really trippy in wireframe. We're definitely in that little dock plaza now, but there's the dragon statue. It looks so different like this. Go ahead, stranger. And then there's two NPCs with special boats. Anytime you're ready. Just don't keep me waiting. What say you? I think this is the guy we want. Karth Waston, yeah. He's going to take us to Skyrim. Not the game Skyrim. An incomplete province mod version of Skyrim province. So we're going to fly around Skyrim a bit, 
head south, look at the one island that's been released in the Sierra Dill province, and then we'll find the boat in Sierra Dill and head back east to Morrowind. All right, we can turn wireframe off now. And for what? Yes. For reference, this is what my character looks like. And now let's take to the sky. And here we go. We're in Skyrim now. As you can see, the map abruptly cuts off. Skyrim Province doesn't do the preview landscapes like the Tamriel project does. And don't get me started on Sierra Dill. They only have one island. So here's Karth Western City we're flying over. It's one of two really big cities on the Skyrim map so far. This high you can get a sense just how big it really is. My game is also lagging. I keep meaning to turn down my distant land settings, but I keep forgetting to. Hmm, what's this? I've never seen this before. This is some kind of ancient ruin. It looks cool, whatever it is. Okay. Um, I'm not going to try and go in there right now. We're not here for adventure today. We're here for flying. And given how laggy the game is, and the fact that I need to adjust my settings, we probably won't be in here long at all. We're just randomly flying around today. Let me see. View distance. Let's try taking that from 12. It was at 12. Let's try to go to 8. All right, what city is this now? And we're loading again. Dragonstar. This is the city of Dragonstar. I've never explored Dragonstar properly or Karth Western or this land for that matter. Dragon Star is huge, it looks like. Wow, Dragon Star is pretty big. All right. Now a quick little flight south that way. And this is just oceans over here, so it shouldn't take that long to load. Eventually, many years from now, this area will all be filled in with land.
but right now it's just ocean. Looks like we've got a long way to go, but not as long as it is to fly from out here all the way back to the main game areas. You can see we've already covered a lot of ground. I guess i got to fill this boring time with some talking. I promise we're not going to fly back to the mainland. We're going to grab the boat from the Sierra del Island. We're going to grab the boat when we're done there. And we'll fly back to Morrowind and we'll take it from there. Probably fly west to the unfinished areas. Because you've seen the finished areas so many times. Sorry there's not really any adventure content today. I kind of just want to take a nice relaxing fly. There's nothing to see right now, I do apologize. But we'll get there. I want to figure out where ground, where we are in relation to ground level. So, yeah, we won't know. We probably won't know when we hit the water line because I have the water breathing turned on. Yeah, we we've definitely hit the water line. Should be coming into sight any minute. Although, this weather's not making it easier. This weather's not making it easy to see things in the distance. We're almost on top of it now. Just another minute, I guess. I forgot how far the Skyrim uh, land was from the Cyrodiil land. And as long as this trip is taking us, it would take us like three or four times as long to get from the eastern edge of the Skyrim land back to our border. So we're not even going to bother with that. We should be coming up on it soon. You can tell by the by the speed of the mini map in the bottom that we do have some speed. It's just that these lands are these distances are so big that even though we have a lot of speed, because there's nothing to see, it doesn't really feel like it. But we'll get there. Ah, something just, yeah, we're getting close. We've gone from being endless ocean to actually being a named ocean. And the mini-map's actually doing stuff now. And I think we're, do you see that just ahead of us? I think we're here. Yeah, it's... We're getting long loads again. We found the place. And my game is frozen right now. But you can see just ahead, 
we got close to something in the distance. Hello, game. What are you doing? I have no idea what's going on right now, but it appears my game is in the process of maybe crashing. I'm going to wait a minute and see if it recovers, but I'm staring at a frozen white screen right now in a spinning circle, which doesn't usually happen with this engine. It could be the rain in an optim unoptimized land. If it wasn't raining, we wouldn't be crashing right now, that's for sure. Come on. Well, doesn't look like the game's coming back, uh, and I don't have anything else prepared for tonight. Um, how about we talk about a few Pokemon card arts, because this seems, it's because I'm, this, that was not satisfying. So let me go, let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and, and get my uh, Pokemon card art folder open. All right, it looks like we're just about ready to go here. We're going to look at a few random Pokemon card arts. Not as many as I usually do. We'll do Flight Simulator again another day when I have more time, and we'll go around all the province mods in more detail. All right. Hippowdon from Primal Clash. Angry Hippo shooting off dust from all over his body. Action pose. He's definitely angry, probably in a battle. Um, ah, dark energy. But not just any dark energy. I can tell by the gold border, the <clears throat> the number that's higher than the set number, and the stars on it, that this is the secret rare version of the dark of the dark energy. Specifically, the sun and moon secret rare. I heard they went back and um, re and did new versions, uh, secret rare versions of the energies. Um, the gold cards. If you saw them in person, they're really shiny. And this one, this ser the Energy Series is no exception. <clears throat> they have a special page in my binder. Magmar, Unified Minds. And it's a lot like all the other Magmar arts. They don't really vary his art too much. He is basically a fire creature in a lava cave. Lots of fire in this picture. He looks like he's upset about something. 
but I'm not sure if this is an action pose or if it's just an everyday activity he's doing. Lotad, Celestial Storm. He's underwater, and otherwise there's not, not much to say about this picture. Lots of bubbles. Binette, this is the uh, Ancient Trait Extended Art. They only did the Ancient Trait Extended Arts for three sets. I, I love that style. I wish they had done more with them. But here's a creepy looking Pokemon. I've never understood exactly what Binette is supposed to be, but it's creepy looking. It's running through the jungle and it looks like it's getting ready to uh, attack the, the uh, viewer. I like this. I like this action shot. Alolan Raticate, Burning Shadows. Uh, angry, ugly rat, uh, giant rat thing sitting on top of a building. It's nighttime with dark storm clouds. Other than that, not much to say here. Bruxish, Sun and Moon Base. Bruxish, Bruxish is a very ugly, but very colorful fish. I've never liked Bruxish, but I do appreciate how colorful. This uh, this card has a nice rainbow motif going on. So even though it's an ugly Pokemon, this art still manages to look pretty. Blitzel, a random electric zebra standing in a random regular field. Looks like bushes in the background, clear blue skies. Not much going on in this picture. Rusted Sword. Oh, I forgot to see what. Uh, Blitzel, I forgot to say. That was from Lost Thunder. And now the Rusted Sword. This is from Shining Fates, I think that is. Um, it's a Zacian in the background with a sword, sword with a glow hovering in front of it. Um, it's a cool art. I like this composition. I like how it shows off that the sword belongs to Zacian, while at the same time putting the focus on the sword rather than the Pokemon. Energy Retrieval. Uh, Shining Fates, I think? I th no, Shining Legends. Sorry about that. Yeah, Shining Legends. Uh, it looks like a claw arm, two claw arms holding energy balls. Uh, take them out of what looks like a collection of energy balls. These energy machine type trainers, they often have arts that remind me of claw machines. Bead, full art supporter. Um, he's a guy dressed in a purple jacket. Messy hair. He looks confident, like he's ready to start something. Uh, I like the way he's just staring at the viewer with those bright purple eyes. All right, let's move on. Porygon 2 from, is that Unbroken Bonds maybe? Okay. It looks like, I want to say he's in a house because part of this looks like a house, but part of the background details look like space. You can see planets and moons and a rocket ship and a star, but you can also see a table and a couch at a table and a chair behind him. So I'm not sure exactly where he is. But I like how the card, even though it shows a lot of detail in the background, uh, puts the, uh, has the background somewhat faded so that the focus is on the Pokemon itself in the foreground. Can't tell what it's doing or where it is, but you can tell that this Porygon 2 is definitely up to something. Coughing. Plasma Storm, just a uh, poison gas ball in a city. Pokedex, Evolution, Space Set Reprint. Uh, basically a picture of the, of the original uh, classic Pokedex device, which showed details of all the Pokemon that you encounter in the wild. Beedrill, X and Y base. I like how this Beedrill even though Beedrill is generally a creepy uh, Pokemon, creepy-ish Pokemon, 
this card is really pretty with the pink uh, leaves fl uh, flying around it. I like the composition of this one. I think that's some kind of attack it's doing, but still, man the card still manages to make the attack look pretty. And this is a reverse. You can tell by the leaf pattern on the text area. Rosa, Cosmic Eclipse. Looks like a girl standing on a bridge. She's got nice hair. All right, not much to say. Pidgeot, uh, team up. This is a majestic looking card. Uh, Pidgeot I've always thought was, well, a lot of the birds I've thought were are majestic looking and Pidgeot is one of my favorites. And here it is standing on a tree branch with other branches and leaves of that tree in the background. I like this composition. It's really majestic looking and it, um, and it highlights the idea that Pidgeot is one of the natural type Pokemon. Eevee, Rocket. And actually, this will be a good place to end for tonight because it is an Eevee, and Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. This is the Team Rocket version, so this will be the third Eevee ever printed. It first appeared in Jungle, and then it appeared again as a Wizards promo, and then Eevee, and then the Rocket card. I like this Eevee. Well, I like all the Eevee cards. This one's really cute. I, I like it's elegant in its sim simplicity with the uh, with the cute Eevee uh, standing against a uh, plain green grassy field. And I like those fireflies that are surrounding it. Um, I, I think that's that gives the uh, picture a little more shine, I guess, is the word I'm looking for. Eevee is a good place to stop. Eevee is my favorite Pokemon. Um, yeah, some some of the simpler pictures can be elegant in their simplicity. That's what I like about this one. Um, another thing I like about this card is this card is cute and adorable, and Eevee looks playful, even though it's from Team Rocket, where most of the cards, even the lowest evolutions in that set, tend to look dark and mean. So this I think this card helps to break up I think the dark tone of the rest of the set. I like that about this card. So let's go ahead and I'll leave that on my screen. I'll leave the EV on the screen for you to look at while I find someone to raid. Uh, Let me see, it's forcing me to watch an ad. They've been going for two and a half hours. I hope, I hope they're not ready to quit yet, but we're gonna raid ABC Music. Abby, she is uh, actually doing a co-stream in Mark Cord Studio tonight. Uh, each of them is each of them is a fun night on their own, but together they're absolutely epic. So let me go ahead and switch over to um, let's get the raid going. And they just picked up instruments, which means they're going to actually be playing again in. They're actually still playing. Okay, the raid has been initiated. Have a good night, everyone. I'll probably be back with uh, more screams tomorrow and probably over the weekend. Have a good night. Just remember what your old pals are, boy, you've got